Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, I had some questions about whether parts come with the new vacuum. So the new vacuum comes with a hose now that's one continuous hose. I noticed in other videos that it was um, parts, but this is 18 foot pole, pole and it'll fit up to a 22, I think, foot. Um, the vacuum itself, the nozzle goes into and it came with, of course, this adapter here to put the hose on. Now, I have a pump that's a 14 inch Santec, uh, sand intake pump, <clears throat> has all just going here. I take this off because it lets the air breathe better. I don't know if that black piece does anything different, maybe for winter time, but uh, anyway. So, all you got to do is just come here and just take this piece off. It came with your intake. Uh, pump and you'll see that that's the edge just take this off and save it when you want to do back the regular pumping and this right here remember that filter I told you don't forget to clean that filter out but it screws into that little there's another little screw see right there it just came, it came with that it came with so you just screw this in the end make sure make sure not to cross thread cross threading is a bad bad thing and today Today it does not want to work right. The other time just screws in just fine. sure why that was giving me such troubles but anyway I gotta to take two hands to get that on there real quick um, it's a little tight but it fits per perfectly anyway so you still have the, the out port for your for this one right here um, for your out pot position um, on that part so what I do is then you just take your hose in right here and it just plugs in here you see the little seal right there a little rubber seal it's going to turn and you want to make sure it, it turns all the way over that rubber seal all right so that's that so let me get the pump hooked up uh, pretty simple on the pump same thing i mean on the vacuum it has a rubber seal thing also down here same way and we just want to turn it and you'll feel it and you can if it starts you have to push it down while you're turning it and get it on there tight so now it's ready all you do is take your vacuum and just let it slip down in there let it just fill up with water i hold it sideways just for a minute just let it get some water in it but all oh, my hose are going to need water but once i turn the pump back on it's going to shoot shoot through there so that's fine We'll let it go. Make sure my hoses are not tangled up. And then just turn your pump on and we'll go turn it on and see what it looks like. All right, so now we're gonna let this pump run. It's, you can see my little, I mean, I'm sorry, the vacuum. Uh, let him let it run and let him do his little thing. Um, and we'll come back right now. It's about 10, 20, so. So I'm gonna see how long it goes and check it every 30 minutes and see how long it goes. The bottom of my pool is very, very dirty. So we'll see how long it goes before it fills up and we'll take off and clean them up, show you that, and then put them back together. So again, you don't have to buy any extra parts for the vacuum if you have the, the pump and your pool and everything work fits together. So it works really great. Um, again, just really clean that thing out very often is the key to keep it moving. All right, see you in a little bit. Since my pool is so dirty, it only took about 30 minutes for it to probably fill up. So we'll see if we can clean it real quick and get it back on the road. So as you can see, that was very dirty. So we'll clean this out. 
and check the other part and we'll go from there. Okay, so I pulled this off. I don't know if you can see it, probably not very well in this video, but there's little sand particles all in uh, this filter. So we're gonna clean this filter out again and then go from there. If you notice right now, I cleaned this out. So this is all nice and clean. So it's ready to put back on there. So one other thing I wanna talk about is that these, there's one way to put them on. If you put it on backwards, it won't connect right. And uh, so make sure that you got this thing turned the correct way. It'll fit nice and easy and you'll know once you slip it on there. I only use one of these. Um, there is, comes with two for fine, you know, if I put two back on there, if I really wanna do some fine cleaning for dust and stuff on the bottom, but when I'm getting leaves and trash and all that, I just use one. Sometimes you can use, not use either one of them and it'll work. But I use one right now, it helps. And uh, so we cleaned uh, this out and put it back on. So now we'll hook back up the vacuum and I'll show you how it just goes right when you turn it on. After it's been cleaned, you saw it a while ago, it stopped where it was. So uh, let's get on and look at that. All righty, so we got them both clean, put them back together. You see the vacuum's in here ready to go. Um, just wanna go back over here and turn your pump back on and make sure I open this valve back up. Okay, it's open. Uh, you wanna make sure your valve is open right here for your outlet. Sometimes I turn it off. Oh, go ahead and turn this pump back on. All right, you heard it go back. Now we'll go in here and look. Oh, it's getting some water. It's getting the air out of there. Oh, holy crap, this sucker just went back to top. So anyway, now it's all clean. There she goes, there he goes, there it goes. And it's running. So again, just making sure when it stops, to pull it out and clean, you know, the filters and all sides. And then you'll go from there and you'll see how well it does. And we're at 80 degrees. I could be a little bit warmer than that, the water, but not bad. Again, uh, thanks for watching our video, my videos. Um, make sure that you subscribe, comment, like, uh, help me grow my channel. So again, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Have a great day.